Afternoon everyone. It's Tuesday today and come Thursday I shall be on my way to camp at Pagan Tribal Gathering in Warwickshire. I'm going in the little blue car. It's just me so Ronnie will be at home with Farley. And I'm gathering all of the things I need for the weekend away. So it's three nights, four days. I'm teaching yoga on the Friday, no, on the Sunday morning at 10 o'clock. So this is my first adventure where it combines my adventuring, my paganism and my yoga. So it is very exciting. I'm just showing you what I'm taking. I'm in the annex at the moment. So I have wind brakes just to make a little bit of an area once I've parked the little blue car. Water container. The green round thing is my pop-up toilet tent. Practices of putting up and down have taken place and I think we've cracked it. There's a mallet and a screwdriver thing to make the hole so I can put the windbreak in. And then in this container here, this is the crocheted container I made the other day and inside is my drum which I birthed with Mel Syret. Ronnie and I saw her at the beginning of June and we each made our drum and bless mine is made of horse hide and we journeyed and yes let's just say it's a very beautiful beautiful drum and it's lovely to play and the horse is blessed and loved so I crocheted this case so that I can carry it around more easily that's the beater in there and this is my book where I keep all my chants either those that have been done by the people or that I've made myself and with some of them I've put the chords in so that I can play the harmonium too and then moving along we've got the cool box I'm not actually taking anything that will require to be chilled but because it's square and sturdy it's handy to carry stuff in and makes a good table and in the back we've got the camping stove and some gas carry bag with water bottles rucksack to cart things around another bag that's got towel toiletries in the new addition that's going with me because it could be quite warm and i'm not sure about facilities on site is this a hose lock porter shower I've tried it it's brilliant and it comes with a little can you see that handheld shower little thing I won't squeeze it because it has actually got a bit of water in it but it's good and even if it's a little bit chilly on the water you can just boil some up on the stove and pop it in there and you've got a warm shower so that will go inside the toilet tent with a very old-fashioned porter potty which my sister and brother-in-law gave me ages and ages ago because this business about car camping motorhome and whatever has been on the agenda for years so it's a very dated toilet but it will work that will go inside the toilet tent with the shower and it's for number twos only because the Wall's Soft Scoop Ice Cream 2 litre tub is for number ones. And again, because I've not been to this camp before, I know I know a few people that are going and have been, but I just want to be as self-sufficient as I can. And then my yoga mat, which is down there at the moment, will be rolled up to go with me. In the little blue car, I've already got my bed made up. A couple of other bits are ready to go. And just as I wander over here, I will just show you this from my time in Stornoway. I bought a print, not an expensive one, I think it was about £15, by the art and, uh, artist Anthony Barber, I think his name is, at the very north point of the Isle of Lewis. And his artistic interpretation of those beautiful Callanish stones, the Callanish one. And then moving round is my harmonium, covered up of course, with my folder of mantra, chants, meditations and relaxations. And then just moving round back to 
stuff to go to camp. Turning around then to me for a moment. Yeah, Ronnie's given me a haircut, so the hair's all okay. I had to miss my appointment with my hairdresser, Carla, at Abbey's in Long Sutton, because I decided to go off car camping for two days in Norfolk last week. So I've dealt with the undercut, Ronnie's done that, and I've thinned it out underneath. And I'm currently wearing a hat that was made by my sister. It's the only hat I dare wear, just to keep the sun off, because um, it's cotton and it's big enough to fit my head. But I love it. That is all for now. So, so it's Tuesday. I'm away on Thursday morning. And hopefully I might be able to update things when I get back. Uh, there's no internet where I am and I don't have much mobile data. But anyhow, that's my next adventure. Coupling adventurism, paganism and yoga. All three in one. Looking forward to it.